Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Look what I can do now. <laughs> yeah, I can take that as a shortcut rather than having to go around and use the hammer and stuff like that. Lots, lot more convenience once you get the most powerful lifter arm in the game. Now, what I'm going to do here is show you a little something optional. Well, I shouldn't say it's optional. You'll probably want to go here if you lose your shield or something like that to a like-like or a picket. Uh, over in this part here, there really isn't much to see other than uh, this. Ah! Thank you. <laughs> yeah, this right here is a shop. It's a pretty weird shop, too. Take a look at what they sell. You got, you got a fire shield, you've got a bee, and then a regular item arrow. <laughs> Yes, so <laughs> I, I thought it's it's pretty expensive to get said shield here. So what you might want to do if you lose your shield uh, is go buy a regular shield and then you know upgrade it at the the fairy fountain. But if you want to pay for the convenience, feel free to come right down here. <laughs> now I'll see you back over on the other end of the uh, village of outcasts. Yeah, right here. <laughs> <laughs> so you turn here and now remember this is blocked off well now we can access it oh yeah oh yeah now get your hammer out and you want to hammer oh no I'm sorry not you not you I'm I'm really sorry do not <sighs> okay we're okay we're still we're still alive everything's good just hammer the posts without worrying about any doom <laughs> Okay, now, uh, see this stump over there? Hit this last one. Oh, look at that! <laughs> it turns into a hole for some reason, just disappears, and underneath that is a heart piece. Four remain left in the game, baby. Yes! Yes! Now, another reason why I came over here was because... Remember this place over in the light world, the swordsmith place? Yeah, um, after you get your sword tempered to level 3 by them, this chest will appear, and well, because the key is locked inside the chest, you can never open it. Just take it with you. Okay, so we're gonna take it with us, and we need to take it to someone. Now remember in the forest, there was someone that said that there was a thief hanging out over by uh, the entrance to the desert, you know, in the light world, so... Let's get out the magic mirror ahead of time here, and carefully sneak our way through here, because if we jump down the uh, pathway, I'll just show you here, you'll- Wait, whoa, 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 what, 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 what? That's supposed to leave the chest behind, what? I thought that's- I thought that leaves the chest behind if you- Hmm, maybe I'm thinking of the GBA version or something like that. Well, anyway, <laughs> I'm just gonna follow this path along, and let's say that we're gonna try and go to the swamp over- uh, at the corner of the map, but as you guys know, if you pro if you played this game before, you can't actually access the swamp through there. But let's just say we're gonna go through there uh, because there is a rather important thing a jigger over there, and that thing a jigger is the guy that is the thief. And who is the guy that is the thief? Well, he's the guy that is next to that sign that says "Don't talk to me." And you know, the guy that goes dot 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 if you chat with him, or if, or he follows you around if you pick up the sign. Yeah, he's actually that guy, and that guy is right here. <laughs> it's... Yeah, this one, right here. If I were to say, to pay no attention to the average middle-aged man saying about this sign, leave him alone! Yeah, it's this one. I heard that you knew I, I know you used to be a thief, right? Well, I'll open the chest for you. Will you keep it a secret from everyone else? I'll tell it to everyone. Okay, if that's the way you want it, I hope you drag that chest around forever. Okay. No, oh, jeez, I'm getting just demolished here, just messing around. <laughs> okay, let's do this again here. <laughs> Alright, I promise, I promise, it's it's tethered to me, and it's the final bottle of the game! You can open it, and that's how you get it. Isn't that awesome? All bottles! Oops, why did I do that? All bottles are now in my possession. Beautiful, huh? Beautiful. Now, I'm gonna go back over to the Dark World, oh god. <laughs> and I'm gonna go around to here. See where these hammerable thingajiggers are and where these flowers are? It's a little indication of something here. Use the mirror here. 
And look at that, you're on a ledge. It's only accessible if you use the mirror on that spot. And now get your trusty Book of Medora out. But let's just read it normally here. <laughs> Yes, that's how I translated it. Hold up the Master Sword and you will get the magic of Bombos! Optional item! <laughs> but not optional if you're going for 100%. The Bombos Medallion, it's, its magic makes the ground explode with power! Watch your magic meter. So there is the third and final medallion of the game. And I just, I guess I could use it just to show it off. It's pretty powerful. It's kind of like both Ether and Quake combined. <laughs> I, I guess you could say, I, I, I don't know. It, it's not really all that special. In I mean, it, it's kind of flashy, but <laughs> it's, a, it's yet another thing that I don't really typically use in my playthroughs. Now what I'm going to do is fly over to the desert, where I am right now, because it'll actually take you to a special location. Look at, look at this, you can't get here normally. Look at that, it's a portal! Oh! And that's how you get into the swamp. <laughs> oh jeez, I need my rainbow umbrella. Ah, oh, that's right, I still don't have it. Ah, how could... Ah. Where the heck is that thing anyway? <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna need my mirror for something else around here, and here's Swamola. Yeah, it's, uh, remember the, um, boss of the second dungeon in the light world? Yep, that's its counterpart in the dark world, only it's, it's not really that big of a deal. <laughs> and Koo is hanging out here as well, I should say Koo's are hanging out here. Take that! Only they're not really that big of a deal, especially with my fire shield nowadays. I'm just taking a little exploratory check through the desert here before I go to the next dungeon because we're really close to it now. But you'll see, um, right here, there is absolutely no way into this desert except for the pathway that I just showed you there. So now I'm gonna go around the side here and get some slowdown, that's lovely. And I'm gonna go into one of these caves. There are three caves around this area, but, uh, um, only two, well, yeah, I should say only one is really all that important. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Let's grab that. Uh-huh, 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 and... It's a piece of heart! Yes! Three more remain. It feels good. Feels good. We're getting there. So, so close. So, so close. I can't sneak through there, really. <laughs> okay. Uh, there's this other cave over here, which I suppose I can explore for ki <coughs> for kicks. Let's go inside and see what's up. It's a fairy fountain, I guess, if you need it. Which I guess is pretty convenient if you think about it, because we're coming up to a uh, uh, rather tough dungeon, actually. Alright, uh, let's go over to the cave on this wall here. It's 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 right here, and check it out as well. Shall we? Hello there. Hey, I'll tell you a profitable story if you pay me 20 rupees. Oh, fine. I've got 999. I could spare a few. <laughs> Thank you. As a matter of fact, monster magic is making it rain in the swamp. If you can move the air with, with more force than the monsters, the rain may stop. Interesting. Interesting. No, I'm good. <laughs> now, obviously, there's something to explode over here. So let's explode that over there. Oh yeah. Hmm. Eh, what do we get in here? It just seems to be a re resupply place, actually. Nothing that special or anything like that. Not even anything to bomb on the other end. Yeah. <laughs> but there's something else that's over here, and it's a little bit tricky. I shouldn't have uh, had my mirror out first. Go over here to this little alcove. Use the mirror. It's different. In the light world, yep, you end up by this, and there's a secret hole, you go down the secret hole, and you've got a puzzle. Uh-oh, uh-oh! This is actually pretty easy. Just go every other corner like that, and then you go, yep, mm -hmm. just zigzag right through it. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> to remain! To remain! <clears throat> I was almost going to jump down there, and I'd have to do that. That rigmarole again, that would have stunk. But now I can go to the next dungeon, which is about the place where Dungeon 2 was in the Light World. In fact, it's the Dark World equivalent of said dungeon. 
But what we want to do here is see the symbol on the ground? Yep, the ether medallion is not optional. <laughs> and wait for it. Wait for it. Maybe the ether medallion is my rainbow umbrella. Perhaps. Maybe. Next dungeon, Misery Mire. Here we go. Let's start it. I guess I'll kill some critters right off the bat because why not? I don't think it's really, really necessary to do so though. <laughs> Let's hook shot our way across and head on downstairs. This is where the dungeon starts getting ugly already. There's a whiz robe. Yep, a classic Zelda enemy. They appear in a spot, and then they shoot in the direction that you- <laughs> Oh yeah, you're there too. Beemos plus Wizrobe combo. Combo attack! Uh, well, yeah, it's kinda, kinda tricky to deal with you guys. Oh! Poopers. Ah, poopers. Take that! Clear! Go! <laughs> Do not like that room. Um, I guess I'll go around here before I take the uh, other route. Uh, I don't want to- yeah, I mean, I guess I got a fairy there. Hold on, isn't this a room that you gotta run through? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Hold on a sec. I know how to do this room. I just remembered how to do that room, and I should have been more mentally prepared ahead of time. <laughs> just loop around there. Now I gotta do this again. Let's go right through there. Now watch this, watch this. Hurry, 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 hurry! Go, 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 go! <laughs> oh, it's for that. Okay. So <laughs> I gotta do that, do that a little bit later. Alright, alright, we're good. So I gotta hit the switch for that later. And this is where the Medusa head was. Okay, we are learning stuff! It's another complicated dungeon, so it's gonna take me a little bit to uh, refigure out this place. Mm okay. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Please don't transform me. I'm not bunny material. And I don't have a key. Let's go in here. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. I don't trust this room. It's too, too empty. Hmm. <laughs> that actually looks like a way back. Hey there. <laughs> Hmm, I could probably cross over that if I had the um, magic cape, couldn't I? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, indeed I can. <laughs> I think I'm doing this out of order though, so let's let's not do that right now. <laughs> yeah, the magic cape is to get something a little bit later on over at uh, Death Mountain. Uh, in fact, the... The, the big bulk of whatever's remaining in the game to collect is actually at uh, Death Mountain's area. And I just realized, yep, I was just stuck again. <laughs> so I guess this isn't the right way either. Oh joy. Oh, but I did notice something here. Is this something that I can... No. No. <laughs> I didn't think so. It's another one of those detailing sort of things. That's all right, let's go around and probably down next actually because I'm pretty sure yeah This is blocked off because I still haven't found the uh, crystal switch yet All right, I'm learning stuff <laughs> Had I known where to go first I would have probably just went over to this corner Because <laughs> this is the last one uh, Ah, Yeah, this is definitely the way to progress yeah, they'll shoot at you too. <laughs> Slugula, just, just hang around there. I'm not gonna, not gonna bug you too much. Just let you do your thing until you turn your back on me, just so I don't get bombed. Okay. Oh, let's just go back. Okay. And this leads to the other side of this, which is kind of pointless. <laughs> So that means I must trek down the other way, probably. Arg! <laughs> Pick up. Oh, there's a key! Oh my goodness! A key! How, how can this be? Hey, but. Hey. Hey. No. Wait a second. Can I get like. It's a switch! Probably wasn't supposed to do this this way. <laughs> it's another way to get a key. There we go. 
Let's take a look see up here. Mm, uh oh. Is this. Oh no, this is just a turning room. I thought this was another one of those sort of rooms you gotta run through. Mm, okay, this crisscrosses through other rooms. Still looking for a said crystal switch. But we gotta be getting close. <laughs> Ow! Mm, I guess I'll follow the. Uh... Oh, there's a switch. Haha! And there's a key! Ha ho! Both very important. And I'm just following this around in the same direction because it's just so, so much safer than trying to... I, I mean, I suppose I could use a magic cape to get by it, but... Yeah, <laughs> Not really that that necessary. In fact, the uh, magic cape is optional. Hence why I said that I was probably doing things uh, ah, out of order by uh, uh, using the magic cape to get, a, get across those uh, uh, spikes in the other room. So yeah, I'm just I'm sort of playing this assuming that I uh, don't have the magic cape basically. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, this was the other pathway thingajigger. I just want to check my map here. I've already explored quite a bit of this. <laughs> um. Well, assuming I don't have the magic cape, I would have to take a little damage to get through that if I wanted the shortcut. So we'll just say I don't have it and take damage on purpose. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. What I want to do is go back to the uh, uh, central room right here because there is another key door right there. Yep. And... Oh god. Ooh. Yeah, these staffle heads, they take a lot of damage for some reason. Even with my level 3 sword. There's another switch here I suppose would be nice. Yeah, you have a key. That's what I was looking for. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the switch as is and just move along here and see. Oh no, this isn't what I think it is, is it? It is. I'll save that for later. <laughs> Such a coward when it comes to those rooms. Take that. Oh, slow down. Aha! I can explode your bombs. Take that. Oh, ran right into it. <laughs> I thought I could like get past the, the Medusa. That, that kind of failed me. <laughs> oh, I just realized the time. I should probably end off the part here, actually, before I go up those stairs. So at that time, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoy, and I'll see you in the next part when I go up said stairs.